Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com and today I'm going to do a, a female figure, a female fi figure character. Uh, I got this cut out, I'll have the patterns online and here is a picture of uh, the witch, it's a witch that I'm going to do, it's a character witch kind of with kind of a figure on it and this comes from my book um, Carving the Women Characters and then page uh, 51 there's the pattern there. If you're interested in it, it's just put a little plug here, other characters and patterns and so on and so forth. And I do have a step by step of uh, carving this Egyptian woman. And it is caricature, so the head is going to be a little larger. And uh, the figure is probably going to be pretty normal. So let's get started. Uh, what I did was I got this uh, the cutout here which is eight and a half inches tall which is about I don't know what, where her head will be but let's get started I'm gonna start penciling things in and where's my pencil and right here now I've also got now I'll also show you some characters I got this these from this is what I use my design from it's called Daz 3D Daz3D.com, D-A-Z-3D.com. It has a free software in which you could do the same thing. Um, the thing that I like about this particular software, not trying to plug it too much. I mean, I, lo I love the software. It's free is the big thing. And the second thing is it, it comes in true two-dimensional. I mean, it does have a three-dimensional too, you know, or a perspective view where, you know, you can see the cage cage go down and you know like 3d but it also has uh, views in which is 2d in which you can have print out patterns and then I use Photoshop to use find edge to make patterns and so on but this is what we're gonna go mostly on like this now there's a lot of extra wood because what I'm gonna do like this one particular I'm going to go according to this, or kind of basically to this particular character. Because there's going to be some extra puffy arms, and then the, the cloak is going to come out. And then we got this big, uh, big floppy hat. That's what I'm kind of basically going to base the character on. Caricature on. So that's why there's a lot more wood there than the figure. So what I'm going to do is at least get the figure in and draw the figure in. I gotta take my glove off of this. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, uh, the reason why the hands are in the back is we are going to add a little extra to this where she's holding a broom. She's holding her broom in the back. I'm gonna cut just a little more. Now this is gonna come out because I want the puff. I'm going to carve or cut this. Now this isn't going to come come all the way down. Give just a little extra for clothing. And I'm more concerned here and a little bit. Of, now here I've added a lot more for the Oops, let's get that center line. That isn't that didn't come out too good for the head. We'll make the head just a little larger for now. We can always cut away. And of course I got some extra for hair to come down, whatever you want to do with the hair. This particular character's got actually uh, red what do you call it, fuzzy hair or curly hair. That does drape all the way down. I might go with that. Kind of almost the mummy look, but we're just getting started. And on this side, I want to get the arms out. A lot of wood for the arms because it's going to be puffy here. I think the puff is going to start stop here. But again, we can adjust later. I'm just going to do the get some cut out, get the block out going. That depends on the hair. I'm going to. 
I'm going to leave this pretty well open for like this right now. Probably change, more than likely will. Now this particular character here, again I give a lot of extra to, to play with. What she's doing is she's leaning forward a little bit to compensate for the weight of the broom that's going in. And so um, I want to be careful with what I'm doing right here because again we'll adjust as we go out just because I want the cloak to come out. And then we'll, this will just basically be rounded off. But we're just going to get her started here. Up to here. Same with on the other side. Oops. Yeah, don't mind what I got back here. I always reuse my paper. And I like to reason you re reuse my paper. Okay, okay, we're just getting started. Let's get this. Now this is going to be a little more complicated because the, the, the feet are not going to come down. And now this particular character, I do have her head turned in a little bit, but for the sake of ease, for right now, we're going to keep the head straight. So the, the cloth is going to, where's my knife? is going to come out, so we're going to um, take the V-tool. See what kind of wood this is. And again, it's going to, we're going to be doing a lot of cutting and adjusting and Like I said, I want that cloak. Cloak still has to be a little rounded. Uh. Oh my! Got a little cut there, so I don't mind the cut. Actually, the cut I got from. Selecting tools, and as I was pulling tools out, I happened to have bumped into one. Okay, we're just rounding this, and then I want to round this off a little bit. chisel to yeah, when we get the big chisel I gotta have my chisel glove on there, that's better now this is going to be a relatively fast pace video because I want to get it all in one video so you can always stop at any time in fact I taught this class a whole weekend so you're going to get a whole weekend in one video. Take some of the saw marks off for right now. Because it's not going to go around that much. Clean. 
I'm going to get the arm out. Pull the arm out a little bit because now the cloak is going to go behind. So we're going to come up to the figure here. Again, you can use your V-tool to get the stop cut going. We get up to the figure because the hand is going in the back. Because now that we put the arm, we start to form the arm, then we can uh, form the cloak on the upper part a little more and, and figure out how it goes. Same thing on this side. The tool or as much as we can. Okay, and away we go. Okay, the pencil. Now there's a this now this is this part here is the cloak, but she still has a dress coming. So I'll use the V tool like this. Get out of there. Okay, let's get our pattern back here. The only thing I neglected to do was cut that out. One of the things that I like to do when I'm starting to get into the figure part of the character, especially this one here, is I want to know where the belly button is. I always have the navel as the center, the point of everything. Everything goes according to the navel, right there, everything. Every measurement goes from there. I didn't put my center line in, which I should have. Where's my calipers here to verify? Uh, virtually on the belly button right there. We want to keep that at all times. that out of the way when I do a little clean in here because it'll go flying. So I'm going to have to figure So it's going to come much like this. Well, that didn't turn out too well. Yeah. Looks like she's kind of overly thin right now, but a lot of this is going to go away. I mean, there's still a lot of wood to go on. OK. 
Okay, and the puff, the arm here. So now we can, like I said, I'm going to add a little extra puff. So this can go away to here. And then this can go away. Same here. That's going to go away. And then from here, that's going to go away down to here, down to the arm. Okay, let's start in. Uh, yeah, let's use the V. And what we want to do is we just want to block that out. Just straight down, straight down, like that. Now you could use a chisel. Oh. Like I said, this is supposed to be, I haven't said it, but this is supposed to be kind of a, a lovely witch, not an ugly witch, so we don't want to make her into an ugly witch. the knife. I'll do this first. this up a bit. That up a bit. Oh. Yeah, one is a little deeper than the other. Uh-oh, got a lot of torque going on here. adjustments.
Let's get that out of there. I've been uh, carving women characters in realism for oh, many years now. So I goofed up a bunch and did some successes. I got uh, some of them on, like I said, Scott, scottcarvings.com. <sighs> I can probably adjust the figure later. I just want to get most of everything out of here first. Start with a clean, or at least somewhat clean, block out. Getting there. I can see one hand is up higher than the other. Well, we'll take care of that a little later. But I'll just do a couple of swipes here. There. Okay. I think we're well on our way. <sighs> now the back is going to be a little different. Or different. Well, it's going to be. Hmm. The thing is about it is that the hair, I'm going to leave the, the back relatively towards the end because uh, I'm going to adjust the hair, adjust everything else. Um, however, the thing that I discovered about this pattern is, yeah, see, we got plenty of wood to play with here for this character. Because I do need a little extra right here. That much can go off because the hand is going to have to so we can probably do a little bit of that right now so then this piece can go and uh, just a little bit will go I'm gonna, I still want to have a little more puff here and the arm is going to be moved back quite a bit Him on the other side. Then we can start something like that, and then of course, when we drill the hole to put the 
brooming. We don't want the hair to get in the way. So I suppose, yeah, let's let's do the back. Let's just kind of give it a give it a start here. Give it kind of a clean start. Where is my there it is. It's gonna clean it up a little bit. So basically And we want some of this off, and we want some of this off. Don't forget the wrist, or the, don't forget the uh, closed hand. And we could, we could separate just a little, well, I don't know. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that open for right now. You know, even though that you have a pattern that you know is how it is and where it's going to go, you know, at this stage here, I would um, leave some extra wood in certain spots until you're pretty well sure. And so the hand is still kind of open, well, even though it's a closed fist hand, but the, I just want to make sure that I get the hand right. because I think what's going to happen is a lot of this is going to go too. Still doing the rough out stage. And we can leave the hair, and the clothing is usually, as I always say, um, imperfect. I mean, if you wanted uh, something to go one way and it goes the other way, well, you can adjust it a little. Same like a Santa beard, you know, if a chip falls off, we can adjust the beard to do something else. I just want to clean the, take the saw marks out for right now. You can do anything you want with the hair. Okay, we got... We're rotating the front, the back. Now let's kind of start the head a little bit. Now the hair, the hat is going to be... Let's look at this again. See how it kind of flops more in the back and it flops in the front and then we got it in the center is where it's the highest point. So... I'm going to use all of it. The center is the highest point. Now this isn't going to... I don't think I had too much on this. I didn't give too much on this. Well, it comes down a little bit. And we got the hat and the head with hair. Is what I want to do. I want to go. Now we're not really, well we might cut this in. This is where the hair is going to come down and it's going to go across the shoulder 
or the back, one of the two. We'll uh, make adjustments later. Uh, I think the head is still a little too far forward. Yeah, we got plenty. Oh my goodness. Wow. We got plenty to go. And uh, now the ear is roughly where the ear starts is roughly the center of the head, uh, of the skull actually. From here to here to here to here. So you can bring the hair back almost halfway back and you still have a lot of, a lot of play on the face there. So what I want to do is I want to cut, let's see, what do we want to do? I mean, for sure we want to cut all of this out. We can cut this out and then we'll cut, I'll come back. We're going to do this in stages. This is going to go down farther. This is going to come the first step down and this will be the second step down. And again, we can start with the old chisel. Yeah, I kind of like this stage. I always like the rough out stage. And then you can just, you can actually change according. You can change your pattern a little bit. You can do whatever. I'm just going to put that in. Maybe I shouldn't have it. Because the shoulders are still going to come down. Yeah, well, that's right. We're still good. I'm good. And here's what we want to be careful is we don't want to break that hat. The hat's going to, of course, we're going to round the hat later. But I just want to get the feel of where the head, the hair, and the hat go together. Right there. Not too hard. And this is going to go away. Let's get this started. Now we could make it easier on ourselves. You know what? Let's make it easier on ourselves here. Change of plan. Let's round the head off a little bit. Yeah, it was still. So what we did was just not that. It is not going to be changed that much. Now the hat is going to. The back is going to be flatter round, whereas here it's going to be sharper round. If you know what I mean. It's going to be sort of a sharper point. We'll adjust later. I think we just want to get some of this off. Where here it's going to be more flatter. Chisel time. Let's see if we can do this without a glove. Yeah, see it didn't we didn't alter too much. I'm gonna get my glove on because I think I'm gonna get carried away with what I penciled in here. Two birds of fun stone. A lot of adjustment still needs to take place. So we kind of round it this way. This is going to be difficult. Now we want the front, now we want to be careful because we want the front to come down a little more. Take off this point, this part here. And of course, anything could be glued back on, but I want to kind of take it easy here. Yeah, you cut at a sort of a medium regular pressure, and if you're pushing down really hard at something here, you might want to. Pull back and cut a smaller piece when it comes to do it when it comes to being up here. You don't want to push hard and then it snaps. Mm -hmm.